Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series, morning of day 91. We got the base updated last night, looks looking pretty good. I'm uh, not going to do much more to this, I don't think. I mean, it looks like hell, but looking good for defense, that is, so against the uh, zombies. I'm not that worried about them. So, uh, we're going to leave the base as it is today. Don't think we need to touch anything else. I do have uh, this all wired up now. So it's powered from here, and this, um, right now it's zero output, but it's 71 watts of output. So we need to find some more batteries today. So we need to go out and do that. Right now it's running from this, drawing 81 watts of power because it's actually charging this plus the rest of the base. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Oh yeah, plus it's charging these guys, I guess, or using these guys. So we're going to go ahead and go find some batteries today. So that's the goal. Everything else is set up and ready to go. We don't need to worry about like too many things. Um, steel can stay here for now. We've got a little bit more going. Uh, not really worried about the steel production because we don't like we, we we're not allowed to uh, upgrade our horde base during the horde. I'll leave the multi tool here. Oops, where did I put you? Here it is. Um, we're not allowed to upgrade our base during the horde. Obviously, that's the rules that we've set about for ourselves. So. Um, not worried about that. Oh, those finished. That's nice. And that's nice. Now, I don't think... How much casings do we have? Ah, uh, we got a bit. We might as well make some. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of this. We'll do it in here. How many can we make? Let's make a couple of thousands of... A couple of thousand in each of these two. Get that going. Now we do have some steel left over for repairs tomorrow, but not a lot. I did burn through a whole bunch of it. As you can see, our resources have been depleted a fair bit. We do need more um, titanium, but not that worried about it. Like like I said, they're going to be focusing on one spot of the base, and pretty much one spot of the base only. So as long as that's what they're focusing on, I don't need a lot more titanium than what I have. I think I'll be okay. Uh, let's put the these guys in here yeah we got lots of lots of brass not worried about it lots of electrical parts so plastic is one of the things we do need um, so uh, priorities let's go and get a battery or at least one battery maybe we can get a couple so let's go do that first let's take car the motorbike Motorbike's got the turbo. Let's take that. But I think we're ready for horde. I don't think we gotta worry about worry about too too much. I know it's a, gonna be a bigger horde than what we're used to. Uh, it's gonna be 24 zombies, max alive instead of 16. But I think with the firepower that we have, we'll be fine uh, as long as we keep focusing on the guys at the door and only the guys at the door. I, I don't see there being too much of a problem. Alright, we're going to take the cars apart at this gas station and think maybe crack a book HQ here. This place is usually pretty quiet. Ooh, crowbar. Oh, hey buddy, what's up? <laughs> Scared the crap out of me, man. Thought it was a wandering horde at first. Just the morning interlopers, it seems. And I guess I could go out and do the, uh... Getting plenty of engines. Plenty of engines. You know, when you need batteries, you just can't get them. Nothing. A lot of car alarms around here, though. Yeah, another engine. Come on, give me a battery. 
God damn it. Well, at least we got one. There's a shorty bus up there we can go check out. Go check that out. Now, I think there is... Let's, um... Do that. Well, let's see if anybody shows up. All right, nothing there. Go ahead and scrap these guys. Could certainly use the extra iron. We got a shit ton of springs, so I might as well scrap these guys for the iron. Ooh, we got 100 plastic so far. That's kind of nice. Scrap those. All right, let's pull this one apart. There's the battery one we wanted. Let's see if we can grab one more. All right. Well, we got a little bit more. Scrap these guys. Two batteries, not bad. Um, a little bit of plastic. Probably get a bit from this too. Oop. Probably get lag from the Bernie boys. Alright, let's, uh, ooh. I guess she heard me. Taking a lot of cars apart, I guess that does it, but it's kind of weird that they, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Ooh. Well, we can go over here, too. Hey, guess what I made? Fucker. I heard this swoop and then I was like, I don't see anything. <sighs> Whatever. Come on. Nope. There we go. That should fill it up now. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap these guys. And let's get back. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ah, it sounded like he was shooting at somebody. Alright, let's go in and park the bike. Gotta move the car. Not in an optimal location there. Didn't they move? Yeah, they moved the car at the, la the last tour, didn't they? Um. Just leave that in there. I really need to finish upgrading this bay, this uh, her house here. I think they pushed this the last horde, didn't they? Might as well put the rest of the gas in there. It's almost out. Um, yeah, I thought they did. Let's go and pull um, some of the stuff out of here. Because we're not using the car as much as we used to. We'll leave those in there. Just so we have them. The bike is just so much more efficient to get around in. Uh, do we need to do anything on the outside here? I don't have anything on me to do it with though. Nah, I think we're fine. Okay, I'm going to go up and get the stuff we have to sell. Go to the trader, see what she's got for us, and then we'll see what mods we can make before the horde. So, um, yeah, all this stuff. Yep. All that. Leave that there. Alright, cool. Um, that's off right now. Put those three in, turn that on. 150 watt output, eh? Nice. That's more than enough to power all the wired fences and stuff. Okay. Now. 
Sorry for my foul mood. Ah, we're like all in a foul mood, mood the these days. Again. We are all in a foul mood these days. I'll be in less of a foul mood if you buy all this shit off me. Let's just see here. Uh, I don't need these engines because I got a shit ton of them at home. These guys can go. These guys can go. Don't need that. I guess I, I guess I could use it to repair mine with, but whatever. Uh, I don't need all these lights. Can buy those. Nah, I'll hold on to that. Well, fuck it. Oh, we can't get more. And I got a shit ton of oil upstairs too. Sell her that. Um, yeah, looks good. All right, now do you have plastic? I don't need electrical parts. I do need plastic though. So if you've got plastic, I will buy it from you. We want the schematics, so we'll take those. Just having a quick look here before we go ahead and drink our awesome sauce. You've got an awesome sauce for six twenty-five. Buy that because ah, oh, should I should have nah well, should have used the other one first before doing that. But whatever. That's my auto turret going off. I don't know what it's targeting. It must be able to see stuff on the ground. Or there was a flyer that, uh, whatever, I don't know. Figures you don't got a lot. Uh, do I want your buckshot? Take your tips for sure. So worth using, yeah, it's Thank worth using so an awesome much. sauce because hey, we're buying all again. those uh, schematics. So let's go ahead and use one of these. We'll save at least 625, so. I'm gonna buy your buckshot, your gunpowder, because I know it's there. That'll help replenish our ammo. Let's go here first. Let's go and grab you guys. Uh, what else? Nothing there. Nothing there. So the diazepam does what? Increases rifle damage. buy your recog even though we can make it now it's cheap as hell why not um, saves me time making it same with these we got the money now too it's not like a big deal I'll buy that and scrap it because it's so cheap there was nothing in here that was cheap like that was there 600s if it's 300, sure, but 600 is a little much. Okay, um, nothing here we want. Nothing there we wanted. There was a couple things. Bullet tips. I'm gonna buy our shotgun rounds. We're gonna be using the shotgun tonight anyway, so might as well have those on us. And no more AP rounds. You got AP... Yeah. No plastic though, huh? No plastic. All right, that's fine. Good enough. Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. Yeah, you too. We got a horde coming tonight, so don't uh, don't die on me. Actually, I don't have any steel on me, so we'll wait. Okay, let's go upstairs. Grab what steel we do have. Um, how much iron do I have now? Not a whole lot. Okay, let's scrap this guy. And where's the other guy? Right there. Okay. Not a lot of concrete mix, but it's enough for another, what, 10 rebar frames? So that's all right. All right, we put the money back in here. Let's hope nobody makes their way into the base and destroys this. It would be hilarious more than anything. I mean, I would miss it, but it's not like I'm worried about things at this point in time. We've got so much of everything. If it got destroyed, it got destroyed. All right, now we want to take out you. We got 120 now. We can make another book, but we don't need to make that just yet. Okay, so 130. So what do we need here? Let's grab our weapons. So we've got, I want to pull you out. We're going to, 
use the M4 tonight, use the auto shotgun tonight, uh, but let's use a brand new one. Is this all the shotgun ammo we have? No, we got more. Okay. Um, I thought it was kind of low. We need you out. We need you out. Don't know what else. The rod and spring, maybe? I don't know. The bipod mod? I don't know. I don't know. So here's the question. Do we run with two coil rifles tonight? Or do we run with the M4 running... Um, like, we could run with the M4 running armor-piercing ammo. Or the SMG running... You know, we, we shredded those demos pretty quick with the SMG, and it's pretty steady. So I think we stick with that. Like, we stay with the SMG shredding demos. Uh, let's grab the material that we're going to need here. So, forged steel, forged iron. Let's grab a whole bunch of stuff out of here. Um... Wow, we got over a thousand mechanical parts already. Uh, grab that. I don't think I'll need that, but I'll take it anyway. We might need that. We might need that. Springs definitely will need. Uh, what else do we have here that we might need? I think that's it. Oh, we do have an extra battery. Yeah, well, no big deal. Uh, we take oil out? We did. Okay, now... So we need some class. Actually, we can make the extended magazine mods, I believe. We can't yet. Oh, right, because that was Hunter. We just, we decided not to do it. Okay, that's fair. Um, so uh, we'll need a fully automatic mod. It's trigger group, right? Trigger group full auto. We need at least one of these guys. So let's get one of those going. How long is that going to take? A minute. Not too bad. Uh, we need one of those. Uh, we're going to need another... One of these. These can't go on the SMG, so I think I've got one already. Battery mover is fine. Um, we need a magazine extender mod. Uh, we need the we need iron breaker and stuff too, but I don't need that right away for the horde, so I'm not worried about making that. Less metal mod we need. I'm trying to think what goes in the the um the main weapons here. Uh what else? Clip extender, advanced metal, rad remover. It was a silencer. Armor shredder. We need lead for that, I think, don't we? Is it lead we need for that? Where are you? Yeah, lead. Okay, lead. Let's grab an armor shredder. Grab that. Oh, can we make brass catchers? We can. Yeah, I don't want to fuck. I'm worried about it. We got so much brass now. I don't care. So we don't. We don't need to worry about brass catchers. So what am I missing then? Um, what do we have on what? So you're good to go. You're good to go. So we have this guy. The rad remover. Clip. Retractable stock is already on one of my other guys. This one needs what? It doesn't... This It's either this or the blessed metal, so I'm thinking I'm going to stay with this because this is for shredding normal zombies. I think this is fine as a loadout. I don't need anything else for that. Maybe the retractable stock? Or foregrip? I think it's a foregrip, which I think we have, don't we? We don't. Um, so let's make a foregrip. Bring you out. So 
So now we can run... Yeah, I don't think we're going to run the M4. We're going to run two coil rifles. And we've got enough to repair our coil sniper with, with this guy. So we'll do that. Our shotgun, we're going to switch... Let's just switch it over to the shotgun now. So the shotgun's ready. We can put the other one away. M4 can stay. We don't need it. I am going to run with the SMG tonight. So let's put a good um, version of the SMG together so it's maxed out. Now I know I should be taking the silencer mod off these. Um, can I get the muzzle brake in there? No, because I got the silencer on. Um, that's fine, so let's put the other SMG away. So that's ready to go. This guy is being modified. So the coil sniper now, bringing this guy down. Shotgun's ready to go. Modify you. That's where the foregrip went to. I knew we had a foregrip somewhere. Uh, put you in there. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, I could make my other ones higher level, but I think we're okay without it. Nope, not you. Uh, we need fully auto. Pull that, pull that guy out. Bless metal. No. Put that in. And that in. And then we can go modify foregrip. Well, let's stop the foregrip that's in here because we don't need this one. Got those two. So now we can go modify. Actually, let's grab a silencer. Starts with an S. Silencier. Oui. There we go. Uh, so we can go ahead and modify you. That goes last. Silencer goes in there. So that one's done. I think we're ready weapon-wise. So we've got two full coils. Coil sniper. And the auto shotgun. This is for demos. We've got the two coil guns and the shotguns for the doors. These guys are for the behemoths and stuff. These guys are for all the regular zombies. And then this guy we can use up on the wall for targeting guys down below that we want to kill quickly. Although the SMG with the armor-piercing ammo might do the same. We'll try, we'll test that tonight because it was pretty steady when we were shooting it. If it's if it remains steady because I'm noticing there's a bit of a kick to the um Oh shit, I want to keep this stuff out. Um I don't think it requires this, but we're going to take that out. Uh, what else do we have here? What else did I put away? That, that. I think I need this because I want to make our pickaxe. We lost our pickaxe several episodes back. So I want to go ahead and make these guys. What am I missing for this? Springs. I don't know why I would need springs for that, but whatever. It's needed for almost everything. So, um... Bunker Buster mod here. Craft. And then the Iron Breaker. Craft. Those are the two things we really need on the uh, pickaxe. Um, I'm going to put a Grave Digger mod for the shovel. And do we need anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Oh, I know, you know what I want to do? Uh, we put the oil away. I gotta check my armor. One of the things about... Uh, we got the hat mod. Ah, man. Do we have any slots left? I don't think so. Do we? We've got one. Okay, so what I want to do... I'm gonna wear that. What I want to do is I want to make... 
these guys. I'm gonna make four of them. The th these things are great. The cooling meshes are great on their own as like just a, a mesh to cool you off, right? But the other benefit that they give you, and I don't, I don't know if you know this, but they give you um, blast protection. A little bit of blast protection. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, but what I want to do is I want to lose my duster. I want to go to the um, the letter jacket. So in order to do that, I need to be able to increase my heat resistance, which is what I'm doing by using those um, the you know, what I just made. <laughs> Brain dying. Alright, put these guys in here. Okay, now let's gear up for the horde. So let's put um, the stuff we don't need on us in here. I'm not going to take any of this stuff. So that can all go out. I don't. I'm not even going to use the. I'm not even going to have the bat on me. So shotgun goes primary for the door. Secondary, tertiary. Mm, actually, let's go this route. Like that. I think that's going to work out. Grenades can stay here. Not going to need them. Not going to need the lockpicks. I'm going to put two full bars of healing. So we'll have two of these things on us. If we need more than that, we're in trouble. I'm going to bring these as extra. Okay, now for ammo. I'm going to go like that. So we need coil, we need shotgun, and we need 9mm. So that's what that's going to be there. Keep you on the corner. Now, I want to keep at least... one of those on us, but I'll take a bunch just in case. Let's top up this stack here, just in case. I want to have at least one of these guys on us for the start. Um, what else? I don't know why I'm keeping all this shit. It's four per pop. So what? Um, 11.44, not bad. Now I clean this up a little bit. There's nothing else in here that we really need. Yeah, so we did, I, I, I was, I mentioned, I think it was the last episode of the episode before, I was confused as to why we didn't have those red pages. Because we used them, right, to get our technology crafting up. So this will be le uh, next level is at 125, right? Um, unlocks the pulse grenade, and then up here um, unlocks the laser pistol at 150. So we're not quite there yet. We got quite a ways to go, well, not quite a ways, but a little ways to go. We've got uh, we're at level 123. So we should get to 125 tonight. I'm gonna try and kill as much as I can tonight. But what we do want to do is do we have learning elixir? We do. So let's keep that on us. Uh, I'm going to keep some recog on me tonight. I don't know if I'll use it, but I want to keep it on me just in case. And I want to keep a couple of stacks of this on us. Because if we start seeing um, whatchamacallits tonight, I want to make sure I have that. Uh, if we start seeing, um, you know what I'm talking about. Those guys. If we start seeing those guys tonight. <laughs> the Bernie boys. If they show up. Gotta be aware of it. Or ready for it at least. Put that in there. Might as well top this up now. What time are we looking at? Ah. Probably got like, well, I don't know. I'm gonna guess we probably have like seven minutes of real time. So, uh. Jobs. No, not jobs. Inventory will be able to tell us what time it is. Right? 15, so like 1600 hours. Four, four in-game hours is what? Oh. 
four minutes? No, it's got to be more than that. Wait. It's an hour per day, so 24 hours. Um, this was four is one sixth. One sixth, we've got 10 minutes. No? Yeah, about 10 minutes, roughly. You have a, a real lifetime before the horde shows up. So I think we're ready. I mean, this is powered on. This is on. We'll get electrocuted if we go down there, but let's just double check. Yep. That's on and ready to go. We need to open up all the doors. So let's actually go do that now. Grab you. Unlock you. And this should be always. Right? We'll invite them in to play. Oops. Let's go in this way. We can pick this up. So we don't want to make the mistake that we did before. Close this door. Let's get all loaded up. That's already loaded. Uh, this I want. AP ammo. we got to get the rest of our ammo. And you're loaded. Ah, it's such a fast load. So is the SMG. Oh yeah, if you're gonna ever use an SMG, it actually uses the pistol uh, skill, which I thought was kind of interesting. So if you want to max out, max out your pistol pistol skill if you're gonna be using the SMG. All right, uh, so we got 44 more of those. So they can go in there, and then you can go in there. Okay, shotgun ammo. I mean, we're never gonna burn. Th well, we I don't know. Depends on how intense the horde gets. We might burn through it, we might not. And then you got a bunch more coil ammo. Let's see how crazy the horde gets. And then the shotgun ammo. Probably overkill, but that should be plenty, I think, for tonight. Don't think I'm gonna need grenades. But you know what? Let's take our fat stack. We got 25. Let's just throw them on the hot bar. Uh, what else am I missing? Can't do repairs. Oh, you know what we should probably do? And I hope I don't trigger this by accident. Do we have Mega Crush? We do. I gotta take four of them with me. Worst case scenario, we throw them on the, um, on the bar down here. Actually, let's do that now. And then if we... For whatever reason, we gotta bail out and run. I can use the Mega Crush to run around. Because that gives you, like, a huge bonus to uh, your movement speed, right? Yeah, 50% for two minutes. Alright, how close are you guys? Alright, beautiful. So let's um, go ahead and put you guys on here. Get this done. And then modify you. Get that done these guys back and then my armor put that down so yeah you can see here it increases the explosion resistance I think it's two for these guys is it two and it works with the other cooling meshes too right so you can mix them together yeah um, put you on there put the other one in the gloves I guess so technically, if you put enough of these on, you can probably run around naked and uh, be good to go. Um, now, I thought we had a leather jacket. We do. So, now I can go ahead and take off this guy. And you. How do we look? Yeah, absolutely badass, sure. Um, we need to get this taken off of there. We'll keep this here. So our heat resistance should now be pretty darn good. Um, where are we here? 83. So I can even take off... I want to wear... 
So I do. I have to do the Canadian winter guy. We don't have shorts though. Take this off. Modify you. And we'll put this on. And we'll wear that. So what's our cold and uh... I'm listening for the thunder. I'm, I keep thinking a horde's about to start, but uh... Cold resist is 40 now, so not that bad. We can actually make some stuff to increase that. And put it on. Um... And then all, now we need is shorts, and then we're in the Canadian winter. Canadian winter is the uh, the col like a like a light college jacket, hoodie, and pair of shorts. <laughs> you'd, you'd be surprised at how many people you see outside shoveling the driveway wearing exactly that. My friend used to do it all the time, snowing like crazy. He's in a freaking pair of shorts with a light like a light jacket and a hoodie on, shoveling his driveway. All right, we're orange as fuck. <laughs> but orange is the new black, so why not? We're an escaped convict. All right, I think that's it. I don't think we need to do anything else. Um, do I have anything going in there? No. Nope. Just gonna double check everything here just to make sure there's nothing we need to put away. Oh, there, I want this door. Actually, let's go do that real quick. Let's grab some steel and this because there is a door. I hope we can get in here now. Oh yeah, there you go. This door here we wanted to upgrade. Nice. Now I gotta get back. Fuck. Well, of course. I gotta pick those blocks up anyway, so... Oh, did I miss something here? A little bit. Not a big deal. Nothing important. Alright, we got one junk turret going. By the time we get to the next horde... That back, two back here, bring you back down. We're gonna go get inside. By the time we get to the next horde, though, or the big horde, um, I want to have this ranked up and maybe have a couple of them. I think we're okay. What am I forgetting? All the doors are open. We picked, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Power's on. That hatch is closed. That block was picked up so they can't get in. The door is closed down there. Those windows are closed today. That door is closed today. I need to put a checklist beside me. I think we're good though. That's the oh shit door. Another oh shit door. Got everything we need on the hot bar. Got our vitamin. Yeah, I think we're good. Just gotta wait for Horde now. Zero skill points to spend. I think the next one we need to spend, though... Um, man, we're so far behind on tool crafting too. Not a big deal. Uh, where was it, though? I got my rifle upgraded. So we're maxed out on a rifle now, after doing the, uh, the run the other day. At the, um, the art gallery. I was able to get that up and maxed out. I was able to get my maneuver and armor maxed out. So that's what I'm interested in now. So, mobility's at 95. I don't think it's seeing these glasses. Why is it 95? Um, because these give, yeah, it's like 110% of your mobility. So what is holding me up here? God, look at this crazy outfit. I got 110% mobility. Why? Because of the goggles. This adds 5% run speed. It doesn't count unless I'm moving. Mobility minus 6%. You know what? If I remember... Uh, I think I know what's causing the problem. I think these lower your mobility by 1%. Is, is, I'm, maybe. It doesn't say. Well, that's what happens. 
All right, I'm okay with that then. We're maxed out as far as mobility goes now. So we're maxed out at what, 95? Okay, fair enough. With the radiation protection on, we're at 95. With the, with the radiation protection off, we would have been at, we would have been at 110. And then... Radiation protection off, we'll be at 110 plus 5% for the jacket. So we'll be running at roughly 115% speed. Walking at 110% speed. Without it. We're, not, we're 95 and then about 100% when we're like, with the leather jacket. So, yeah. I like the mobility. I don't like being encumbered by heavy armor because if you get yourself into a nasty situation where there's a bunch of zombies on you and you need to run, the heavy armor, you're just not running away from anything. Like a behemoth will run you down. Like everything, or any, any runner will run you down. But at least if your, your mobility is close to 100%, then you, you still got a chance to stay away from them. If it's over 100%, you got a really good chance to stay away from them, which is why I like to have it like at 110 early game if you can get it that, that, that way. So like if you have padded armor on, like early game with those agility goggles and a leather jacket, you're running at 115% of your speed. You might as well forget about them catching you. And the good thing about it too is if you're in a wilderness and a bear is chasing you, um, I've never, I haven't tested it, so don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure you'll be, you should be able to outdistance the bear. Because normally the bears will run you down. Dogs will, will stop after a while, but bears just don't, for some reason, just don't want to stop. So, this is actually not a bad blast shield. I don't remember. To use it. If needed. Oh, 24 zombies. I don't remember tomorrow or the next oh well, it's gonna be a while before I record after 91 I'm recording I recorded I think was the last four episodes all to like all of them today or is it five episodes a bunch of them today because I want to have them so I can just edit them and post them um, because I got the next um, battle report series coming out for Battletech I want to be able to spend some time focusing on that um, plus I want to bring this series to an end before Alpha 20 show hits out so um, but yeah, so I think maybe the next horde. Uh, nah, we got we need laser weapons before we go out, before we finish. So I, got, I definitely need to level up as fast as possible. So I might take these mobility goggles off and put on the um, the other ones. XP goggles for the plus ten percent. But I mean, we might be able to make a ton of this stuff. And then just go into buildings and do it, or do it before we upgrade the base again, and just like make a shit ton of material, and then drink a learning elixir and just upgrade all the walls to steel or something. Try and get a level that way, but it's harder and harder now that it's like later game because the XP you need for the next level is like a whole lot. So, anyway, see you when the horde gets here. All right, so before we start, let's have a quick look here. Oh man, we got eight deaths already in this game. Jesus. Uh, so game stage 426, level 123. I don't know when the demons start showing up. What game stage that is? Uh, but we got 5,228 kills. Not a bad ratio. 5,228 to, to eight uh, player kills. I guess this. I think this is like animals and the uh, and and um, what are they called? The bandits and stuff. Grab that. And these, I think, last for, what, four minutes? Can we stack these? We cannot stack them. Okay, good to know. Come on, fuckers. Copper! Nobody's getting to the door yet. Oh, we do. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, shit already, eh? I think the white took a swing and actually hit him. I think the white took a swing and hit him and the guy turned around. 
he turned around and started um, wailing on the white rather than coming after me. Working a lot better now. Don't waste my time. Sucks to be you. He's taking a lot of damage already. I wonder if he. I wonder if I shot him and he fell off. Copper, gonna blow up. No, well, maybe not. It's not like he was gonna blow up. I thought that was a, uh... Those, are, those guys are really the only threat at the door at the moment, other than the uh, behemoths, of course. Yeah, I'm glad I put those extra wires in and left the other ones. Yeah, fuck you all. Mom, bring it. Daddy needs the XP. Oh, come on! Off my building. Kill the cops as fast as we can. Was that a uh, demo? It was. Hey, buddy. I got a test out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Welcome. Oh, I didn't load my SMG. Hang on one sec. There we go. Yeah, it seems to be working. Thanks for the help. So the next door, we definitely have to have the extra guns up. That guy still. What the fuck, guys? See how unwieldy this thing is? I'm like fighting to keep it down. Thank God it's shared ammo. Ooh, don't lose your head over things, buddy. Alright, what can we do so we don't need? Uh, you. Scrap that. That's got black dye. Nah, we don't need that. Hello. Who are you? I must have blew your leg off somewhere along the way. Yeah, the one thing we didn't do is, um... We didn't add the um, rad remover and stuff to the um, junk sledge. Fucking die.
another map. Hi, oh, dude. Chainsaw. All right. Um. Somebody's banging our shit down below. That's a demon. Well, that's the answer to my question if the demons are going to show up tonight or not. Okay, well, now we know. Things are still reasonable. Grab you. Die, you motherfucker. The composition of the horde just feels different tonight for some reason. Not exactly sure why that is. I mean, we haven't got to the animal phase yet, I guess, but maybe that's why. It's like there's a volume tonight that... Tag a few of these guys. Uh, you need that. You don't. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I see them there. I see them. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Delete. Okay, looks like we're in the animal phase. Spider monkeys are up. I wonder what that behemoth was hitting. I don't think he was being affected by the... Um Ow. Don't think he was being affected by the um, wired fences, but he might have been. At least it didn't seem like he was. <whistles> Fuck off. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, we're down a little bit in the door, probably down to about 5,000 hit points on the first level. Don't waste your time, you're wasting my time. Fuck, look at all these bears. Another behemoth. Can we get him down there? Here he comes. Yeah, man, we got him. Um, how did you get up there? Ah, 
Yeah, I got a little bit of extra ammo. We are taking a hit, I guess, eh? I think it was one of the spider monkeys, actually. That guy probably hit me over here. Ooh. Spider monkey loose, actually, not that bad. Alright, let's grab another one of these guys. So we're at least mm, two-thirds of the way through, I think. Not bad. I think we're getting out of the animal phase now, back into more zombies. Looks like it. Oh, you walk right into that one, buddy. I think it was the behemoth, or was it this guy that I saw? Shit, that dog's gonna blow up down there. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that's got about mm, 4,000 left in it. I want these bears gone here. Yeah, they're hitting me from over here. The other thing I like about the submachine gun is that when you click reload, even if you're zoomed in, it will instantly reload it as opposed to waiting. Shit. Fuck off, bears. Not bad. Handful of bears left. Go away. What the fuck? Okay, he's coming with a lot of guys. Okay, he fell down. Rinse these guys. There he is. Did he fall off again? I think he fell off again. Okay, she's getting intense now. Still not through the first level of the door. This is like nice. I'm enjoying this profusely. Night should almost be over though. Okay, 
Okay, the boar is affected by it, which is nice. There's the morning. Man, they're really throwing the last dish effort here at the end, eh? Did not break that door. Okay, five shots for a Gracie. Nice to know. That's from me. Got him. There'll only be a handful left, I think. Okay, we didn't burn through two full... thing. another Gracie showing up, a bear. Stop it, Mo. Gracie's down. Gonna be a screamer here in a minute, probably. So the one thing about these wired fences is that the people below me are actually being electrocuted. Oh, they broke through the one bar. I'll show you in a second. Right there. Somebody got inside. I'm not sure how that happened, but she must have glitched through. Only thing I can think of is she glitched through. Alright. Close up all the doors, check our loot. Not too bad. I don't think we did that bad at all. Managed to keep our cool. Yeah, I'm glad I upgraded this. Like all of this. All right, let's see what we get here. One thing I will say about this night is like way more bags of stuff. So, I mean, I guess it was to be expected because of the uh, the number of zombies max alive. Okay, some stuff. Some of the stuff we just don't need. Got lots of paper. Don't need you. Want the black dye? I want the lead. Uh, we got a whole bunch of those. We'll take the leather instead. Okay. Okay, some more stuff we can trash. That can go, that can go. Actually, that can just get thrown out. Let's grab that. Drop you. So we didn't use, I mean, we used two stacks and a little bit of that ammo. Um, and our shotgun rounds shifted. So, I mean, we used a little bit of the other, out. I wonder if that's how she glitched through. I wonder if that's how she glitched through. Okay, um... Let's go put some of this stuff away. We haven't got a lot of space left over. Where is my frames? Alright, I'm just gonna throw a bunch in this box for now. All right, so I think that should do it, except for the bags up here, of course, that I didn't even know were up here. All right, so not bad. I mean, I guess we did okay. Don't really need that. We can scrap this, scrap you, scrap you, 
Scrap you. Scrap that. Don't need that. All right, let's go inside and see real quick here how well we actually did do with stuff. With stuffs. All right. All right, well, we got a few things. I mean, we can definitely uh, sell here. A couple of black dies. Well, one there. I guess it's just one. But yeah, that's about it for tonight. That was a pretty good horde. Pretty good horde. So, if that was 24 max alive, we should easily be able to handle 32. 64, on the other hand, I think we definitely need to have... Well, how many skill points did we get here? We got three. So, I'm going to go ahead because the, the Horde Knights are only going to get worse. We're going to go here and I'm going to turn this up to max. And I'll probably get a second sledge operational for the next Horde. And maybe we turn it up to 32 and see how that goes. This should pretty much mitigate... Yeah, let's turn you off. Turn that off for now. Uh, that should mitigate the, the them getting to us. So if we have two sledges here, spaced out of course, like one block apart probably, um, that should stop most of the normal guys from getting it to us. And the number of wires that were here definitely made up for um, for where they were placed. It pretty much slowed everybody to a, to a grind, like ground them to a halt. Not one of them um, wore out before the end of the night, which is perfect. And I think we need to find a more stabilized um, rifle. So maybe we don't use the coil. Maybe we use the sniper rifle with AP ammo instead. Because it has a better iron sights. It doesn't do as much damage. And it's not as rapid firing as this one is. But I think for Horde Knight, it's going to really be able to focus the fire on the zombies. Those guys banging near the front door, that's the kind of thing you've got to be very careful of because um, those big guys can do a lot of damage to the to the buildings. So, not exactly sure what they were trying to do over there, but all right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Um, not sure if we'll pick it up later in Day 92 or if it'll be Day 93. I might just do some repairs on the base um, just to get it back to where it was today, and then we'll go out on Day 93 and do some stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.